Hello, and welcome to another episode of BPW Transpect's online product training videos. In this series of videos, we will be taking a closer look at the critical maintenance requirements for selected BPW products. In today's episode, we'll be looking at the BPW Eco Plus 3 hub and bearing system. Correct bearing adjustment is crucial to achieving the desired reliability and service life. BPW axle hubs are identified by their hubcaps. The Eco Plus 3 hub design has no version indicator on the hubcap, simply the BPW logo. The thread is on the inside of the hubcap. Available in Australia from 2018, the Eco Plus 3 hub operates on the same tried and true principles as the BPW Eco and the Eco Plus hubs, with some refinements. Using the same bearings and grease shields as the Eco Hub and Eco Plus hubs, the Eco Plus 3 adds improved sealing to the design. Once again, the Eco Plus 3 hub design allows you to remove the hub from the vehicle without having to dismantle it. There are three main differences between the BPW Eco Hub and the BPW Eco Plus 3 Hub. The seal on the Eco Plus 3 is of the same rotating design as the Eco Plus seal, but it has a wider sealing area. This improves the hub sealing on the rear of the Eco Plus 3 Hub. The Eco Plus seal is blue in colour, whereas the seal for the Eco Plus 3 is black. The Eco Plus and the Eco Plus 3 seals are not interchangeable. The Eco Plus and the Eco Plus 3 seal carriers are also different and are not interchangeable. The hubcap on the Eco Plus 3 now has an O ring under it to improve sealing. This O ring should be replaced every time the hubcap is removed. The thread of the Eco Plus 3 hubcap differs from that of the Eco Plus hubcap. The two hubcaps are not interchangeable. The Eco Plus 3 hubcap is only tightened to 350 newton meters. The torque setting required for the Eco Plus 3 hubcap is stamped on the side of the hubcap. The wider Eco Plus 3 seal requires a larger sealing area in the new Eco Plus 3 hub. This makes the Eco Plus 3 hub different to the Eco Plus hub. The Eco Plus 3 hub is designed to get the optimum bearing setting of a slight preload utilizing a bespoke torque limiting axle nut. By utilizing circlips in the front and rear of the hub, all the internal components are captured in the hub. This means that the Eco Plus 3 hub can be removed in one complete unit, often without removing the vehicle's tires. This means that all the internal components are protected from contamination and the bearing grease does not need to be replaced unless required. The use of grease shields in the center of the hub means that no additional grease needs to be packed inside the hub cavity. This reduces the amount of grease required for lubrication and makes the use of the Eco Plus 3 hub more environmentally friendly. There is also no requirement to fill the hub cap up with grease. The new Eco Plus 3 hub with the correct seal, seal carrier, hub cap and o-ring will fit on the older Eco Plus axle beam. The older Eco Plus hub with the correct seal, seal carrier and hub cap will also fit on the new axle beam. Please note that BPW Transpect no longer manufactures the older Eco Plus hubs. If you require a new hub for an older Eco Plus axle, you will be supplied the Eco Plus 3 hub with all the relevant parts. Basic Bearing Theory BPW trailer axles use tried and proven taper roller bearing technology. Taper roller bearings consist of four basic parts. 
the outer race or cup, the inner race or cone, the cage, and the taper rollers. Taper roller bearings are used because two cones can rotate over each other very accurately. The taper rollers used in the taper roller bearings are essentially just a section of those cones. Once in position and correctly adjusted, the taper rollers are subject to two separate forces. A radial load acting vertically and an axial load operating horizontally. The axial load and the radial load combine to push on the cup and the cone, resulting in a force that operates at 90 degrees to the taper rollers. The two resulting force arrows are not parallel to each other and that creates a strong seating force on the bearing. This seating force drives the cup and the cone towards each other, forcing the rear of the taper rollers into contact with the cone wear board. When two taper roller bearings are fitted to a common shaft, like an axle beam, these forces drive the bearing cones and cups towards each other, creating a strong self-centering effect. The bearings are constantly trying to find their own centers and rotate as freely as possible, providing that the bearings are correctly set. Bearing Settling when making a new bearing, it is extremely difficult to machine the angle of the taper rollers exactly the same as the angles of the cup and the cone. The new rollers are therefore machined with a slight bulge in the middle, much like a small barrel. This is shown in exaggerated form in the diagram. This slight bulge can be seen as a differently colored area around the center of the taper rollers. So when a new bearing is adjusted on the BPW axle, the taper rollers only touch the cup and the cone in this differently colored area. Once the vehicle enters service, the weight of the load on the rotating taper rollers forces them to change shape slightly, forming them to match the cup and the cone. This is what we mean by a bearing settling in. It is also why you are advised to always put a bearing back into its original cup. The taper rollers have changed shape to match that particular cup and may not match a different one. During the settling in period, the taper rollers are also work hardened. By 1000 kilometers traveled from new, the taper rollers will be the correct shape and the correct hardness required. Now the bearing is ready to work. But during the settling in period, the rollers have gotten slightly smaller, which means that you have lost your initial bearing setting and the bearings will need to be readjusted. Hence the BPW requirement for a first service. At the first service, which should occur between the first 1000 kilometers to 5000 kilometers that the vehicle has covered from new, the bearings must be readjusted as per the requirements shown in the BPW operator's manual. This same procedure applies to older vehicles which have new bearings fitted, as those new bearings are going to settle in in exactly the same way. Older vehicles which are fitted with new bearings should also get a bearing reset between the first 1000 km to 5000 km that the vehicle covers with the new bearings. Bearing Preload All BPW trailer axles have bearings that are set with a slight preload to achieve maximum bearing reliability and service life. This preload is achieved by torquing the axle nut, either with an external torque wrench or via the self-torquing axle nut. The amount of end play or preload on the hub bearings can have a significant effect on the life of the bearings on an axle. As you can see, a high end play results in too few taper rollers being used to carry the bearing load. A heavy preload may use all the rollers to carry the load, but this results in high drag, damaging the bearings. 
Zero clearance results in only 50% of the rollers carrying the load. The optimum light preload utilizes most of the taper rollers while still allowing the bearing to absorb external forces and reduce drag. The use of a high end play or a high preload setting on the bearings can significantly shorten their life. The hubs used on BPW axles contain bearings that are set with the optimal amount of bearing preload. Nylon cages. During operation, the thickness of the grease layer between the bearing cup and cone and the tapered rollers is critical to both bearing and grease life. This effect is known as electrohydrodynamic lubrication. The grease between the rollers and the cup or the cone can be subjected to pressures as high as 500,000 psi. At this pressure, the grease can be momentarily turned into a solid, putting flat spots on both the rollers and the cup and the cone. The thicker the layer of grease, the larger the flat spots are and the more heat is pumped into the bearing. The thickness of this grease layer is controlled by the bearing cage. Falling in line with the worldwide standards for heavy vehicle bearings, the latest design of BPW Genuine Bearings utilize cages constructed of a high quality nylon polymer. This PA66 plus 25F nylon polymer cage allows for constant grease thickness on the taper rollers without the expansion of the metal cage due to heat. This means that the thickness of the working grease is constant no matter what the bearing temperature is, allowing for longer grease and bearing life. Maintaining BPW Eco Plus 3 hubs. Tools required. A BPW hubcap socket, a BPW 95mm axle nut socket, a pair of large circular pliers, a 350 Nm torque wrench, BPW OKS 571 assembly and protection spray, BPW Eco Plus grease. Removing BPW Eco Plus 3 hubs. Chock the vehicle and jack up the axles. With drum braked axles, there is no need to remove the vehicle's wheels. With disc braked axles, the wheels and the brake calipers will need to be removed prior to removing the hubs. To remove the Eco Plus 3 hub, remove the hub cap with the correct hub cap socket and disconnect the lock ring and remove the retaining block. Store the wedge block and the locking ring in the hubcap to keep it clean for reuse later. Now rotate the axle nut in an anti-clockwise direction using the 95mm axle nut socket. The axle nut, rotating behind the front circlip, acts as a puller, pulling the entire hub off in one piece. The rear circlip holds the rear bearing and seal in place, ensuring that they come off with no damage. Once the axle nut reaches the end of the axle thread, the entire hub can be moved away from the vehicle. If there is no further need to work on the hub, then refit the hub cap loosely and push a clean rag into the hole of the rear bearing to prevent any dirt penetrating the hub. Once the repairs are complete, the hub can simply be refitted and the bearing reset. Stripping BPW Eco Plus 3 hubs. 
If there is a requirement to further strip the Eco Plus 3 hub, then use the circlip pliers to remove the front and rear circlips. The axle nut, bearings and seal can now be removed. Clean and re-grease the components and refit them. Reinsert the circlips and the hub is ready to refit. When fitting new bearings, hammer out the old bearing cups using a hammer and a soft metal drive. When fitting the new bearing cups, ensure that new grease shields are fitted under the cups. Clean and grease the new bearings using BPW Eco Plus Long Life Grease. 120 grams of grease is required for the smaller bearing and 170 grams of grease for the larger bearing. Now run a bead of Eco Plus Long Life Grease in the indentations of the grease shields where they butt up against the bearings. There is no requirement for grease in the center cavity of the BPW Eco Plus 3 hub. Check that the thrust washer behind the self-talking nut is unworn. Replace the washer if there is any sign of wear. When assembling the hub, ensure that the part number embossed on the thrust washer faces the bearing. Refit the circlips, ensuring that they are inserted the right way round. The holes in the circlip for the circlip pliers are tapered and the smaller side of the hole should face the outside of the circlip. Clean the axle stub thoroughly and coat the bearing seats with a liberal coating of OKS 571 Assembly and Protection Spray. Allow the spray to dry thoroughly. While waiting for the A&P spray to dry, reset the EBS sensor. Once the A&P spray has dried, slide the hub over the axle stub end and align the lug on the thrust washer with the keyway on the axle. Now push the hub inwards until the threads engage. Turn the axle nut in a clockwise direction. The axle nut will once again draw the complete hub on in one movement. Setting bearings on BPW Eco Plus 3 hubs. There is no need for an external torque wrench to set the bearings on the Eco Plus 3 hub design. The Eco Plus 3 hub design uses a torque limiting axle nut designed to slip and audibly click when the required torque setting for the bearings have been achieved. 
While tightening the axle nut, rotate the hub at least three complete revolutions. Allow the self-talking nut mechanism to click three times. The BPW Eco Plus 3 self-talking nut is designed to slip at approximately 110 newton meters, which is the required preload for this design of bearings. By allowing the nut to click three times while tightening it, we ensure that the correct preload is achieved. There is no need to turn the axle nut back with the Eco Plus 3 design. Reinsert the axle nut retaining block, ensuring that the teeth on the block engage with the corresponding teeth on the inside of the axle nut. Now fit the locking ring under the lip of the axle nut. Install a new O-ring under the hubcap. Refit the hubcap and torque the hubcap to 350 newton meters to prevent loss. This is less torque than that on the Eco Plus design due to the presence of the O-ring. Always fit a new O-ring under the hubcap. There is no need to put any grease inside the hubcap. With disc brake axles, refit the caliper and wheels. The vehicle is now ready for the road. Checking the condition of the self-talking nut on BPW Eco Plus 3 hubs. The BPW self-talking axle nut operates in much the same manner as the fuel filler cap on most modern cars. The metal base of the nut and the carbon fiber reinforced hex are held together with a cup spring that has a certain tension. As the axle nut is turned, the preload on the bearings places force on this cup spring. Once this force exceeds a certain preset level, the cup spring allows the hex of the axle nut to turn without turning the metal base. This means that no matter how often the axle nut is turned or how many times it clicks, it will get no tighter. At some stage, of the life of the vehicle, these self-talking axle nuts will lose their tension and will no longer be able to apply the required preload to the hub bearings. We therefore recommend that these self-talking axle nuts be tested every time the vehicle's bearings are replaced. To test the self-talking axle nut, remove it from the hub and grip the metal base of the nut in a bench vise. Set a torque wrench on 110 newton meters and using the 95 millimeter axle nut socket, turn the hex part of the nut in a clockwise direction. If the self-talking nut needs replacement, then the nut should slip and click before the torque wrench does, indicating a lower torque achieved. Any self-talking axle nut which fails this test must be replaced. Do not wash the self-talking axle nut, as this can lead to damage by washing away the internal grease. This then means that the self-talking axle nut may operate at a different torque setting, potentially damaging the hub bearings. Immediately replace any self-talking nut that has been washed. Simply wipe clean after testing with a clean rag and reuse. Maintenance schedules for BPW Eco Plus 3 hubs. The BPW Eco Plus 3 hub requires the following maintenance schedules. New bearings need to be readjusted after the first 1,000 km to 5,000 km covered from bearing fitment. Thereafter, the bearing should be readjusted after every six months of operation. The grease should be replaced with genuine BPW Eco Plus long life grease every three years or 1 million kilometers depending on use. When the vehicle is used under extreme conditions, for example, off-road, poor road conditions, construction sites, impeded braking effort, 
or water ingress caused by fording, BPW recommends regreasing the bearings more frequently. With 19.5 inch and 17.5 inch tires, BPW recommends grease replacement at 500,000 kilometers due to the faster rotation of the hubs during use. Please consult the latest version of the BPW operator's manual for full details of the regreasing requirements. For complete warranty and servicing details, please consult the latest BPW operator's manual. Available on request or download a copy from www.bpwtranspec.com.au Thank you for watching this video on the maintenance of the BPW Eco Plus 3 hub and bearing system. Don't forget to watch the other BPW Transpec training videos in this series. Please visit our website for further information in the form of tech topics, catalogues and other product manuals. For further assistance, please contact your nearest BPW Transpec representative.